Hello right. folks, uh, one of my subscribers asked me the other day who had got a Daystate Airwolf in 2.2 calibre said what sort of power are you getting when the rifle is set on high power and on any other settings <clears throat> well on the Airwolf it only comes as, as two settings got a high power and a power 2 so the power 2 is lower than high power uh, and I think it states in the information that it should be like 20 feet per second less than the high power which is a shame in some respects it would be nice to get the rifle at say 5-6 foot pounds probably 8 or 9 foot pounds and 11 and half because uh, you can get those sort of uh, settings for a, a choked rifle but having said that most uh, sub 12 years will, will be shooting on high power anyway. Uh, what I've got with me, I've got RSW Superfields, they weigh 8.4 grain, so that's your average weight, medium pellet. Also, got the Terminator HM Terminators, they weigh 7.25 uh, grains, so that's your lightweight. And then I've got the Webby Acumax at 10.65 grain, which represents heavier pellets so it's no good just saying what sort of power you get and it, it all depends as well on what kind of pellet you're shooting through it so uh, what I'm going to do because I've not done this before I've always had it set on the full power uh, I'm going to test all three pellets at the high power and all three pellets at the lower power and we'll see what uh, differences we get then I could probably also do a, a backyard target shoot with the different pellets at different powers and see what a difference in impact we get as well. So for the subscriber that asked and anybody else that's got uh, an earwolf, we'll just go through the basic procedures. So <clears throat> on the electronic rifles, make sure all the gun's not loaded, which it's not. Uh, you pull the trigger and switch it on and then you'll get a selection of beeps and the power settings are on the fourth setting so after four beeps and four flashes we'll take the finger off the trigger when we get to the uh, program we need so I'll switch it on finger off it's on power two Press again, high power. To set it, you just switch off, and that sets the actual uh, power limit. So it's fairly straightforward. There's a lot more settings within the rifle, such as uh, how many shots you get to it. You can switch it on and off uh, when your mag magazine needs changing, that kind of thing. You can actually switch the beeping off as well, because what, what I find it was driving me mad. It had come up to, I think, when the magazine media changed, it starts beeping at you. Well, that's no good if you're a hunter in the field. So you have got the option to turn the sound off, so it's not beeping at you. But if you're on the range, it probably does make sense, but uh, not in the field. So then, let's uh, get on with the test. I've got it set on high power now. I'll test the three different pellets through it. I'll do five shots with each, and then I'll put it onto the lower power and see what we get with them then. So uh, let's carry on. Okay then, so we're going to start off with the Terminators. I've decided to do a 10 shot group. Uh, that's how they will do it at the factory with the pellets they use. And then they use the average of 10 to get uh, the average of the weight of the pellet really. And it normally comes to average what it says on the tin. Some will be higher, some will, will be lower, but unless you weigh them, that's the way it is. So we're starting off with the light pellets, which is the h and Terminator high power. See what we get. I didn't read. Might have to come further back. Eight hundred. 
This is our high power, remember. Right. Just put a bit of white paper on that. Eight hundred twenty-three. Eight hundred twenty-six. Eight hundred twenty-six. Eleven point zero. So, <clears throat> shot count of ten. Hive eight two six. Love eight one seven. Average. 823 that's a spread of nine standard deviation of three that is uh, a high of 11 foot pounds a low of 11.7 an average of 10.9 and that's using the 7.25 grain terminators on high power so that's to be expected there okay then <clears throat> coming up next is the rws superdomes Seven hundred sixty one. Seven hundred sixty one. Seven hundred fifty nine. Seven hundred sixty one. Seven hundred fifty six. Seven hundred fifty six. Seven hundred. Fifty six, seven hundred fifty nine, seven hundred fifty six, seven hundred fifty six, ten point seven. Okay, I've got a finish with the ten point seven average. So <clears throat> feet per second wise, high of it. 761 low 756 average 758 that's a spread of five standard deviation of two so foot palm wise that's a high of 10.8 a low of 10.7 an average of 10.7 and a spread of 0.1 okay so the last one up then will be the Acumax at 10.65 grains okay let's pellet on high power 11.0 Eleven point nine. Eleven point eight. Eleven point eight. Twelve point zero. Eleven point eight. Eleven point eight. Twelve point zero seven hundred twelve eleven point eight eleven point nine seven hundred ten. Okay then, so that is a test on eye power. It's on the legal limit, but it's it's all twelve or less, so that's legal. Anything above that is not. Uh, 
shouldn't really go over power and having said that even though it's reading 12 the pellets are not weighed so if that's a lighter pellet which can be a deviation of uh, a grain that can make that look like it's more than it actually is so at least it's not over according to uh, the croning so high power then and what i'm going to do now i'm going to run the same test on the power 2 setting now according to the information it should be 20 feet per second lower so we'll see how that reflects on the uh, on the chronograph so uh, let's carry on Eight hundred ten. Eight hundred ten. Eight hundred ten. Eight hundred ten. 796 793 803 810 810 point 3 Okay, that's pretty consistent there. Uh so then, looking at that, got a high of 803 feet per second, a low of 793, average of 799, that's a spread of 10, standard deviation 2.6. So uh, foot pounds wise, it's high of 10.4, low of 10.1, average of 10.3. So that is the HN terminators at 7.25 grains next one up is the super fields from rws okay then rws power level 2 8.4 grains 740 728 735 Seven hundred thirty five, seven hundred twenty eight, seven hundred forty, seven hundred twenty eight, seven hundred forty, seven hundred thirty five. Seven hundred thirty one ten point zero. Okay, then. So, <clears throat> looking at that, feet per second wise, high of seven forty, low of seven two eight, average of seven three four. That's a spread of twelve, standard deviation four point eight. Now, I don't know if this will make a difference, but the pellets in that tin are quite oxidised, so they're probably not. This probably creating more friction down the barrel, so it probably would be a bit more efficient than it is. Put it that way. Let's uh, see what the feet per second is, uh, foot pounds, I should say. So it's a hive ten point two low of 9.9 .9, average of 10.1 so that is the uh, rws super fields so the last one up will be the acumax and i'm expecting these to be 11 foot pan or just over okay then so final pellet in the test again it's the webby acumax at level two 
four hundred sixty six five point one. That's a double bloody loaded it. Hang on a minute. Final one. See what it says. Six hundred eighty nine mm. eleven point two. Let's get rid of the first one. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that, folks. Six hundred ninety one. Six hundred eighty nine. Six hundred eighty nine. Six hundred eighty four. Six hundred eighty four. Six hundred eighty nine. Six hundred ninety one. Six hundred eighty seven. Six hundred ninety one. Eleven point three. Right, so not a bad power there. Eleven point two, eleven point three, even on the second power. So you can understand that why you need two new rifles to the most efficient pellet. Because these other two here, they was uh, averaging about 10 2 and 10 3 on the low power. This is already over 11 2. And there was on full power, they were still in the 10s. And that was, that was on 12 on a couple of occasions. So if you was to tune one of these light pellets in, or medium pellets, and bring it up to say 11 8. You put an heavy pallet in like this and it's going to be doing 13 foot pounds so you need to be aware of that so like i say the so high of uh, 691 low of 684 average of 688 a spread is seven standard deviation 2.5 uh, <clears throat> so foot pounds gives it a high of 11.3 a low of 11.1 an average of 11.2 so uh, that is the test complete on the power levels high and level two with a medium light and heavy pellet could also do a, a target test to show you what kind of difference you get in uh, point of impact might do that but uh, what you should consider when you do a rifle tune is that not all pellets are the same and you should always tune it to the most efficient pellet and that's why some people get a rifle and it might be doing 10 and a half foot pounds or they'd be complaining well it, it's because they're using one of the lighter weight pellets or one of the pellets that's not as efficient down the barrel but as soon as you put say a 10.3 range master sovereign or a busily magnum it's going to be right sky high so that's the reason why you do get the variation in power and that's the same with any of the calibers as well. So uh, that's it for now. I hope that all made sense. Interesting to see what uh, the difference is in the two power settings. Like I say, the only way to get more than that, and what some people do when the rifles run out of warranty, they, they buy what they call a heli board. I'm not sure if the bloke's based in Greece or, or Spain, but on that you get 12 power levels. But as soon as you do that, uh, you can avoid your warranty anyway but some people do it to uh, save money on the servicing as well but uh, it's entirely up to you what you do but just make sure you stay within the law wherever con whatever country you're in i mean if you're in a, the us it doesn't matter you'll probably go as powerful as you want but uh, powers don't always include accuracy but there we go so uh, that was the conclusions for the two power settings on a day state airwolf 